It's the Craig catalog. Tape recorders and players, car stereo, radios, and television. Portable tape recorders and players. Make music, save sounds anywhere, anytime. The Craig Portables make it fun and easy. Let's get on to those. And here they are, a stereo cassette recorder. Compact push-button stereo recorder and player. Looks great. And Craig's electronic notebook, miniature portable custom recorder. A pocket-sized precision instrument with self-contained microphone and speaker. $109.95. Very nice. Over here we see the portable cassette player. Take it anywhere. Pick the program, play anything. Now, this is just a player, not a recorder, for $29.95. Below it we see a $37 version that has also an AM radio. Okay. And these great-looking portable cassette recorders with that same sort of gear-shifty four-on-the-floor, well, three-on-the-floor control knob that they used on the earlier reel-to-reels. These are a cassette recorder. These, I think, are made by Sanyo. I've seen Sanyos with this same uh, control configuration, so I think that's who made them. And over here, the swing-along portable cassette recorder. A compact push-button cassette recorder with Craig's advanced automatic level control for music recording. Oh, yes. And next to that one, well, that was $64.95. Next to that, it's the swing-along portable cassette AM-FM radio recorder. Well, that's just got everything for $94.95. Now, over here, a smaller cassette tape recorder, portable, for $69.95. And then this one in the middle, this small one. That's cute. It has the T control. That's what they call it, the T control. That one is $53.95, and it's a cassette version of the famous Craig 212 with the automatic uh, level control. And on the right, a cassette AM-FM radio recorder. So that's got an AM-FM radio in it, too. Well, I'll take that for $94.95. Oh, here are those reel-to-reel -reel recorders. They were still making those. The famous Craig 212 portable tape recorder. Oh, yeah. $39.95. Now, this one in the middle, the 212... No, that was the 212. How is this different? The portable tape recorder contains a few of the features, plus an auxiliary recording input for radios or record players and a battery condition meter. It's super in every way. Okay, so it's super. And it's $47.95. And the portable tape recorder model 2106 is $69. It's the Big Brother. This says the Big Brother. This battery-powered recorder has large 5-inch reels. Ah, 5-inch reels. These others had 3-inch reels. Stereo at home. Stereo for your home comes in a variety of packages. Reel-to-reel, -reel, cassette, and cartridge. Oh, yeah. Let's look at that. Oh, there's a stack-loading stereo cassette player deck. Really? It's like a changer? Load six pre-recorded cassettes in this stereo player deck for hours of uninterrupted music. Both sides of each cassette are automatically played, and cassettes are automatically changed. Reject any cassette, any side, at any time, with the push of a button. Easy-to-operate T-Control provides search or pause function. Stylized walnut grain wood finish. Tinted plastic cover keeps dust and dirt out. That's a hundred and eighty nine ninety five. And worth every penny. The cassette player deck for sixty four ninety five plays stereo cassettes. Okay. And below that for ninety four ninety five, the automatic stereo cassette recording deck does something special. Just drop the cassette and push the buttons. So, okay, it's more special. It's better. It's more money. Now, automatic stereo cassette recorder system. Ah, you get speakers and everything. A regular hi-fi set built around the stereo cassette recorder. It's $169.95. It has the slide controls. No adjustment required. Just drop a cassette in and record. Terrific. 
And now this one, the Stereo Cassette AM FM Radio Recorder System. This complete system has both stereo cassette tape recorder and an AM FM receiver for full music flexibility. Easy to operate slide controls and all that stuff. $239.95. That looks great. I'll take that one. And the stereo cassette recorder. Man, they had quite a variety of these quite similar home stereo outfits. This one says easy to load, easy to handle cassette cartridges. Well, that's confusing. Which is it? Cassette and cartridge were two words that meant very different things in the world of audio tape, and they were completely incompatible. It is assumed that what they mean here is cassette, because if they meant cartridge, they'd have to clarify whether it was a four-track or eight-track, and they don't do that. The one on the left here is $189.95, and the one on the right is $139.95. The one on the right seems to be the same basic thing as the other one, but in the deck version without its own speakers. Stereo 8-track tape player systems. Yes, they were offering the stereo 8-track systems that played the 8-track tape cartridges. On the left, this nice little set was $69.95 in the deck version and $119.95 with the built-in amp and speakers. And over here, for $179.95, this similar model comes with a built-in AM-FM radio and with the famous Craig Ease Eject cartridge release button. That eject button was crucial for those times your sister would put a Bobby Sherman tape in there. Now, over here, we have the Craig 3302 for $139.95. That doesn't just play 8-track tapes. With this, you can record your own 8-track tapes. And what became known as the mixtape was born. To the right is a mystery. It's a four-track player, but they call it a 4 plus 4 compatible stereo cartridge system. Not a recorder, it's just a player, but it seems to imply that it is compatible with both four-track and eight-track tapes, although it doesn't come out and say it. What it says is this, quote, plays all eight and 30-minute four-track cartridges. So this brings up another question. Were there eight-minute cartridges? I don't remember them, but I guess there could have been. That would be about the right length to hold the contents of a 45 RPM record, what we used to call a single, which contained a hit on one side and the flip side on the other. And now these over here don't play cartridges or cassettes at all. They are reel-to-reels, auto-reverse, stereo tape recorder, reel-to-reel, 7-inch reels, a big, nice-looking recorder, $349.95. That's some serious money. This is a recorder. It has the speakers attached to it. Uh, the one on the right is what's called a deck. That is, it doesn't have an amplifier and speakers. It's just the recorder. And it's $289.95. You bought the deck when you had the home hi-fi set you plugged it all up into. And you bought the recorder when you didn't. And you wanted the speakers to go with the tape recorder. And here is a good-looking four-track stereo tape recorder. Oh, what were these other ones? They weren't four-track? Sure they were. They had to be four-track. Anyway, back to this one. The 4-track stereo tape recorder, most popular medium-priced complete home tape entertainment center. Well, it looks good, and it's $239.95. Have you ever noticed that all these prices end in 95 cents? There's a famous quote about that, about what you can expect in the way of honesty from a society in which all the prices end in 99 cents. You know, that's a good quote. I've just mangled it, but it's a good quote. Stereo tape recorder, solid state. Okay, another one, $199. This has got some features left off of it, I guess. And uh, this one, another recorder, or is that a deck? It says it's a recorder, so we don't know. It's less, it's $169.95. Stereo on the go. We have here a mini 8-track stereo. That goes in your car. And a cassette stereo player. And over here, the 4 Plus 4 compatible stereo cartridge player with FM stereo radio. Now, this one comes right out to say that it is compatible with both 4 and 8 track tapes. Wow, I didn't even know you could do that. But it's $169.95. 
almost half of what I paid for the car I was driving back then, and the model right below was the same but without the four-track compatibility, and it was $139.95. So Craig was still selling stuff for all the different formats of recorded music that existed at the time. What a confusing mess that was. You'd build up a collection of four-track tapes, and then you were expected to throw them all out and buy A-tracks. Then next year, throw them all out and buy cassettes. Well, the history of tech is littered with these format wars, but I don't know that it was ever worse than it was in the 60s and 70s. You've got to give Craig credit for at least trying to bridge the compatibility gap. And here is a 4 plus 4 compatible stereo cartridge player. This looks like the version we just saw, but without the radio. But the text is unclear here, referring again to 8 and 30 minute 4 track cartridges, and not actually stating specifically that this would play standard 8 track cartridges. Below that is definitely an 8 track stereo tape player that played only 8 tracks, the 8495 model 3108. Now, a front mount twin speaker kit. Oh, that's for sticking speakers in your car. I did that. Oh, I did that. I cut speakers into all kinds of door panels and kick panels in my time, trying to get the good sounds while I drove. These speakers are branded Craig Pioneer. Television. First, set, or second, a Craig television is a smart buy. I'll bet it is. Craig television. Let's have a look at those. Oh boy, the Craig Color Television. Oh my goodness. That one is $389 for the 15 inch and for the 18 inch, $429.95, of course. $429, 18 inch diagonal. That's how they measured the picture on the diagonal. And sometimes it measured a little bit less because part of the picture was hidden underneath the bezel. And that's kind of cheating, but you know. What can you expect from a society where all the prices end in 95 cents? Craig, black and white portable television. Yeah, okay, that one's nice. And a smaller one. The 12 inch is $109. The 9 inch, $94.95. Here we are looking at radio now. Radio, take your choice. Oh, and there is a sweet radio. Today we'd call that a bookshelf system. They call it a compact AM-FM stereo receiver system. And I've seen this thing with the Sanyo name on it, so that's who made this one. Or maybe somebody else, and they copied the Sanyo design. I don't know, but I doubt it. It's $129.95, and it is perhaps the most stylish thing in this catalog. That's cool. Now, clock radios. We're looking at clock radios. And several of those that aren't that interesting. And this little home setup is the stereo receiver system. Yet another one. This one doesn't seem to have any kind of tape in it, but it is an AM-FM stereo radio. $109.95. Now, here are some smaller clock radios, solid-state clock radios. Well, I guess they all would be, wouldn't they? You know what they mean by that. They mean solid-state means it's transistors and not tubes. GE was still making tubes and tube clock radios well into the 60s. And here we have a table radio, AM, FM, 47.95. And this nice, deluxe, solid-state AF-FM clock radio. This has got everything. $59.95. And over here, we're looking at a multi-band, full-band receiver, AM, FM, and shortwave. My goodness. That'll get your Voice of America for you. And over here, a compact AM-FM broadcast radio. And below that, the portable AM-FM public service radio. It has the public service band that brings you the weather, marine, police, fire, and other public service broadcasts. Turning the page once again, we have transistor radios. Oh my, look at those. I have some of these. Personal AM broadcast radio. 
And next to it, with the dials in the same kind of configuration as that cool one back there, is the portable AM-FM broadcast radio, model 1206 for $35.95. And these, a very stylish-looking transistor radio, very ahead-of-its-time-looking personal portable AM-FM radio. Very nice. Now, in the lower roll, we have the pretty cheap-looking thing, a 995 small AM broadcast radio, and the small AM-FM broadcast radio, the Model 1207 for $23.95, and the portable AM-FM radio for $17.95. They did the AM-FM thing quite a lot. The Craig folks were getting that the world was going FM at that time, as it was. As AM radio and Top 40 died slowly, turning eventually into talk radio, oh goody, FM radio was on the rise in those years. And here are the accessories. You've got microphones and adapters and gizmos and earphones and foot, uh, foot control. You know, that's so you can have your cassette recorder set up to the foot control, and you can dictate into it and push the foot control down when you've run out of things to say, and push it again when you think of some more. So it's very handy. And a business expense, so it's tax deductible. The Craig family. And that is it. The Craig full-line catalog of stuff. From, it's not dated, I have to guess, 69 or 70. That's my guess. If you have a better guess, make it. <laughs> put, it in the, put it in the comments below. Your guess is as good as mine. Craig, tape recorders and players, car stereo, radios, and television.